I think many times when we're busy doing edits, we follow one path because we're very used to that system and we don't sort of think a bit lateral and see if there are any other options. Here's one typical example that I think will help you save a lot of time. So I'm going to just open, uh, I've got two cars here, I'll open that one. I could actually open them up together and they'd open automatically. But I'm just doing them individually. This is car two. If we look at the background, it's locked. So I just make sure we unlock it so that we can work on it. Go to car one, same thing, unlock it there. Or you could open a document and place the car in it. It doesn't matter for this process. So here's the story. If you look at this color spectrum here, where this system will work well is if the colors pretty much in the objects are kind of on opposite scales. So if you have something in, in the scene that's predominantly green and something that's predominantly blue or purple and, and reddish, you kind of can apply this technique that I'm going to show you now. But if we go to car number two, this is blue, but the windscreen has a bit of a tint of blue, which is close to these areas. So almost if you can look at it, I, I consider it half and half. So if there's the main colors blue here, yeah, you want to have something in the scene um, or most things that are on the other side of the spectrum, because if you have a lot of things that are in the similar color spectrum area then it's going to when you make adjustment in one area it's going to affect the other so if you look at this this is an ideal image uh, this is blue it's on this side of the spectrum this is yellow it's pretty much on this side they're almost on opposite sides so this technique will work brilliantly let me show you what i'm talking about you go to the layer and go to adjustment and go to U saturation and luminance as an adjustment layer now this I think came out in uh, 1.7, I'm not sure if it was in 1.6, um, but to, there's a picker here to activate which color you want to select. I could technically look and say this is yellow, I'll start off on there, but it's, it's just arbitrary just to initiate the picker. I can click even on a, on a blue if I want to select the yellow. It will show me now the blue that I've selected, that middle of the road is the blue, and it kind of blends out to the side it creates a blend out to the side so i'm going to just reset that i don't want to fiddle with those uh, sort of fall offs this is called kind of fall offs from the area i selected but i want to use the picker so the only way to get to the picker is to click one of these colors and initiate it so i'm clicking picker then i'm going to go to the car select that what it's done is in the middle it selected the color i've selected and then given me a a feel that it will affect towards this color of the spectrum. Now the beauty of this is if there's anything in the scene that's around the purple area or around this green or blue area it definitely will not be affected by me doing any adjustments to these areas. So let me just show you if I change the U. Look at that. I can change that to red because it's affecting only this area with the U this bluish area and everything outside this zone if it appears in the image won't be affected i can change its saturation drop the saturation luminance so this is brilliant i haven't created a masks, masked area but it's understanding the range that i've allowed it to select will be affected however if i click on this blue now if i reset this and i click on the blue it will use the blue as the reference range and this yellow wouldn't be affected so if i go on the blue you can see there it's changing with all the different tones and this yellow is not affected because it pretty much doesn't fall into the scope of this area so you can look at certain images and say this one will work well with this technique with others if the colors are too close you probably might have to mask out areas and so forth okay so let me just reset this i'm going to do this for the yellow i clicked on the yellow uh, click the picker We've got it there and I'm going to set it to a nice sort of orange color. Now here's the thing, if you want to alter another area, another region, you, if you drop another UN saturation level in here, it's going to fall on top of this layer and affect both of them. So this orange will be affected and that blue, which you don't want. So one way around that is to detach the actual effect that you've created detach it from the layer 
so that it becomes an independent layer. The only problem with that is that you can't modify it beyond that uh, from its original. You can still tweak it, uh, but then it's going to affect, in this case, it will put that effect onto the orange color of the car already. So a good principle is to make a duplicate of the layer. So this is my, say my original. Then I go Control J to make a duplicate and then disable this layer. The reason I do this is because this layer, if I double click on it, it, it still has the ability to, if I right click on it and say edit adjustment, okay, this goes disappeared because I have this off here. Probably have to put it back on, but I'm not working on that layer now at the moment. But if I wanted to edit it, it's still in the kind of parametric editing space. So it hasn't kind of been, you know, uh, detached from this area. So I have this as my fallback on for this modification. So I've duplicated it. So it's over there now. Let me show you this. If I right click onto the adjustment layer, it's got all the different things here, which I'm not talking about. The only one I want to highlight here is the release adjustment. So this instruction is to release this adjustment from this image, but still let it have its effect on it. So it's just going to move it from here to a layer above to have an overall effect. Look, if I click there, it's placed that on top there. So this layers off this copy that I made. Um, and if I switch this off now, this car should turn back to its original yellow. Okay, so that's the setup. Only thing is now if I double click in here and I want to change anything in here, um, it is going to, let me just switch this on, it's going to modify this area. Uh, if I go even edit on here, I can't do an edit on that. It's going to modify this orange area and jump to other areas. So I literally release it from there just so that I can add another UN saturation layer on this image itself so I can modify this area. Okay, so what I'll do is go adjustment, U saturation. Now I have a brand new one over here. And this one now I'm going to say must select that blue car. Okay, let me show you how that works. If I just select an arbitrary color, go to picker and click on the blue car. Okay, so there you see it's chosen the blue color. Okay, so with that picker we've got, picker we've got the blue color. And now if I do adjustment, it's not going to affect any of these other colors. So this adjustment layer is now on that original photo, only affecting the blue here. So if I go there, you can see you can turn it to green, maybe make it more saturated, drop it down here. So there I could change that. So this layer, adjustment layer on where the car is, is altering that. This adjustment layer, we did it there and then pushed it above. So if I can switch that color off, or I could go back. I actually can't do this because the layers here. However, I could come back here if I'm happy with that. Uh, I literally can make a Control J duplicate, switch it off. So I, I know these two, the green one and the, the red, orange one is still in its original format. Then I can come to this one, right click on it and release adjustment. So this adjustment is for green or rather that blue car and this is for orange. Okay, so if I switch this off, I switch the green black to the blue, that one I can put back to orange. So I've literally generated the the effect on it and I've popped it out, detached it. So if there was a third color I wanted to modify, I could do that again here. Yeah. So hopefully I, uh, I'm not confusing you with the process, but it's literally putting it on the object, making the, uh, the putting the the adjustment layer, making the selection and then clicking on it and just going and saying release the adjustment so that it releases it from the object and gives you an opportunity then to do an adjustment on another object in the scene. Okay, so the reason why, like I said, it wouldn't work here is if we go through the same process, use saturation, choose just an arbitrary color, pick a grab here. If I now modify, can you see how it's turning nice and green, but the windscreen has also gone green. The reason is, is because there's a natural green in that even before we got started. So it's important to select your object based on what the colors are and that there's no bleeding across the different objects.
Okay, so to recap, just important, look at the spectrum. If you look at an object and there's colors that are not bleeding over each other as per the spectrum that they fall kind of on opposite sides, uh, you know, sort of one or two colors that, that differ from each other, you could use this technique. So in this case here, yeah, this would save you, you know, umpteen amount of time to be able to mask and all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's, it's a selective way in which you should do the technique, but I think it's brilliant and it's fast. So in essence, if I had to get this car and I had to change the color of the car, let's look at it doing without me explaining how quick this would go. Okay, so I'd go in and I need to change the, the car to another color, whatever color it is. There we go. I'll just go in there. I'll click, click, picker. There we go. And I'll go, okay, that's a nice deep purple color. And there we go. And there's my car ready. All branded, colored, nice. No problems with a bleed over there. Okay, so that's how quick it will go instead of going masking and boom, 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 all the stuff. If I come back and I need to change the colors, I can just come and alter it again, get it back to a different color. Because now we are working with that particular range of colors. Okay, so hopefully that excites you and gets you uh, uh, motivated to start changing colors of certain of your images. Experiment with it. I'm sure you'd find some unique uh, techniques. So have a fantastic day and God bless.